This is a long vlog, so you know I gotta provide a quick table of contents. So today I'm bringing you guys along uh, behind the scenes on an AK run, and I'm sharing links and tips and all that good stuff along the way. There's also an Ikea haul, and some insight on what it's like being in public with a child on the spectrum. And girl, not me learning some electrical skills from my dad. I got a new hairstyle I wanna share with you guys, plus a huge Dollar Tree haul right at the end. <laughs> hey guys you're watching my real life vlogs welcome back welcome back <laughs> oh my god look at my hair how are y'all today i hope everybody is having a great sunday so excited to be vlogging today y'all it's a race weekend okay this is the vlog where i'm going to be sharing my experience running the shamrock shuffle it's an 8k race which is 4.97 miles easy work okay the race i'm running is the shamrock shuffle i kind of wanted to do like kind of the saint patty's day green and all of that stuff but yeah so i'm headed to the beauty supply store because i want to get some green hair so that I can braid my hair for this thing and I want my hair to be green. And y'all, I love wearing braids to these runs and stuff, y'all. I don't know if y'all are aware, but I guess I should let y'all know. When it comes to running, I run because they say black people don't run. I run because black people only represent about 9% of the world's runners. I don't know if that's on a global scale or just like in the US, but I don't like the statistic and I am actually a pretty good runner like not to toot my own horn but I run faster than the average man in every category so that's kind of why I run and stuff you know and I'll be liking to represent and I'll be liking to represent with my braids <laughs> I also run y'all because I know that one day I won't be able to right I was just talking to my dad about this kind of stuff he was saying that he hasn't really ran since his military days he's done some physical stuff but not necessarily running and I was telling him about the race and I'm like yeah it's gonna be like you know, almost five miles or whatever. And he was like, damn. But yeah, my sister's gonna be doing it with me. So it's gonna be really fun. So for me, it's about health and representation. It leaves a positive impact on the community, right? And every time I run, if I get to inspire just one person to get out there and get more fit and to get their blood pressure back down and to get off the diabetes medication, if I can just inspire one person per race to do that, it's worth it to me. So I'm vlogging on my phone, so the images are coming through looking real crazy y'all always be asking me what beauty supply do i go to y'all this is the one <laughs> in markham illinois star beauty we come in here because they got all the hair ah okay they got all the colors something with green It'd be nice to have a black blend with the green look at all these colors and you don't ask me why do I be coming here. Look at all this. We got everything. And that's not green enough. But that was the kind of the vibe I was thinking. Like the ombre into the green. Now I'm kind of torn. Because look at this green. Oh, uh, let's see. Oh, wait a minute. This is what I wanted right here. Emerald with a little 1B mixed in. We're gonna go ahead and do this one, y'all. Hey, hey, back home. <sighs> was getting some edits done on my computer and then I'm like, let me stop and get to this hair. So I'm glad that I did go ahead and go with this color. It's actually the perfect green. My hair is already kind of dirty because I've already worn, you know, a style already. So this is just going in for the day and I'm just gonna do some feed in. So I'm gonna braid it down quite a bit with my natural hair and then I'm just gonna start adding in the hair like further down the braid. So they're gonna be pretty long, but this is just for fun. So let's just get started so we can go ahead and get done. <laughs> Cause right now it's about 7.30 PM. Actually, no, it's about eight o'clock. So I, you know, I, I need to try and get this done like in the next hour so I can get some rest. <laughs> Seven minutes. Okay, 
coffee. I'm just gonna throw this scarf on and then I'm gonna dip the ends real quick. I will see y'all in the morning. This is my breakfast. I'm just gonna take it with me. I'm gonna do some pumpkin spice instant oatmeal. A little bit of granola on the top. Some banana. Just grabbing this just in case. I'm gonna do my AG1. I gotta put some water in here. I had all this prepared last night. I'm so excited. It's always really hard for me to sleep on race day. Just be having so much adrenaline, but yeah, so we're doing this onesie. This is an Amazon find, y'all. I think it's like a yoga onesie thing, but y'all, it's so fitted. It doesn't have that gap in the back. It fits perfectly down to the angle. It's extremely stretchy, so you could order your right size and not have to worry about it. It's just so nice. Look at this. This is perfect for outdoor run this is perfect so i'm like let me wear it before it starts getting too hot so yeah amazon i'll put the link if you guys want to get one they got a ton of colors and they also come with the sets with the shorts um it was sold out when i looked at it but i'm sure they'll restock at some point this is my run vest it holds water in the back which i'm not going to put any water in because with these races they give you water along the run trail so i don't need it for this particular race it has like little pockets and stuff in the front i can put my phone and i can put chapstick tissue whatever i need in here it has a little built-in whistle right here for emergencies you know it's just real practical and cool instead of wearing my phone on my arm or wearing the pouch this is like you don't even know you have it on it's perfect and then i'm just wearing my, my hoka on the eights and then the socks are also amazon Thought those would be cute. I'm gonna pack up my breakfast and take it with me over to Alex's because that's where I'm that's where I'm going right now to meet up with her. Then we're gonna take a train to the race site. So I'll probably just eat this when I get to her house because I'm not really hungry yet. My headphones. I'm good to go. Alright, let's go ahead and leave out. Okay, I changed my hat. I forgot they had hats for us. So I'm at Mumu's house, surrounded by monsteras. <laughs> yeah, it's cold outside. It's cold. Hanging out with Mumu and her cool friends. <laughs> I'll talk more about this later, but this is Alex's run group, the Peace Runners, and uh, we may or may not have just finished bopping and footworking on the train, but don't get it twisted. There's some athletes in this group.
Thank you. <laughs> What's that, Momo? <laughs> After party with the Peace Runners. This is how they get out. No shot for me, bubbly. Back home, back home. <laughs> back home, back home. Anne greeted me at the door. She saw the green hair. She liked it. You like my hair, Anne? Is it green? Leprechaun green? <laughs> oh, I'm really happy to be home. I'm about to get cleaned up. Ugh. I can't wait to take a shower. It's gonna feel amazing. But uh, yeah, I got my medal. Almost dropped it. <laughs> Finished in 46 minutes and 11 seconds. An 8K, which is 4.97 miles, almost five miles. It was really, really good. Uh, that was my first time running an official 8K. I've done 5Ks, I've done half marathons. That was my first time doing an 8K. Pretty good. Uh, a lot of people were hitting their PRs today. I can't say whether or not there's, it was a PR because I've never ran an AK before, but I do feel really good about my finishing time. Come here, sweet girl. Anna's eating ice cream. You missed your mommy. All in my nest. Yes. She got her little haagen -Dazs. Um, But all the all the folks with Mumu's run group did really, really well. It was so much fun hanging with them. They call themselves um, Peace Runners. They're an awesome community group, right, for, for promoting fitness and you know things like running and getting involved in the community fundraising uh, for causes and different things like that. So a really, really good fun group to know about if you guys have not already heard of them and you're in Chicagoland. I'm thinking about um, uh, partnering at least to some degree for the half marathon coming up in June, the Bank of America 13-1. So I'll let you guys know about that if I do move forward with them with a partnership. Uh, but yeah, it was a lot of fun. They had the little after party afterwards. That was great. Got to meet everybody up close and personal. Got to you know talk about some fitness stuff and you know some bodybuilders and athletes and athletic trainers and you know elite runners it was just a big mix of like all different walks of life right so i had a really good time but i am so tired i've been up since 5 a.m okay it's 4 p.m i'm just getting home so i am definitely tired and it was so cold y'all like super super cold i don't know if i would ever want to run in those conditions ever again it wasn't so much the running because your body temperature increases you don't really feel the cold it's the moments after well it's the moments before and the moments after they really get it so if i ever do the shamrock shuffle again i definitely want to drive myself <laughs> i don't want to take public transportation uh, i want to leave right when i'm done i want to get in my warm car and with my heated seats and that's that i don't want to be standing around hanging around waiting for the train talking to people, taking pictures. I don't want to do any of that. I want to get up out of there because it was like really, really cold and I was feeling hypothermic, okay? I was like, you know, I ain't, I don't like the cold. Being from Chicago, I don't care. I don't like the cold for standing for long periods of time. I can do that in the heat. I cannot do that in the cold and it was like really bothering me big time. So I don't like the temperature for the Shamrock Shuffle. But yeah, I was really, really excited to get another run under my belt, get another medal, you know, to add to the collection. Y'all, my dream, right, is to run a marathon in the continent of Africa somewhere. I know they do the marathons in Kenya. That would actually be my dream to be able to run a marathon in Kenya. I've never run a full marathon before, but it is on my bucket list and I will be doing it one day soon, but that would be my dream marathon to do it in Kenya because I truly believe that Africans are the elite runners of the world. Can't nobody tell me different. I'm sorry, no shade to nobody, but Africa is the home of the runners. And whenever I run, that's what I'm thinking about. That's one of my reasons for running. That's one of my big whys. And I'm, you know, a descendant of that. So I feel like being able to go back to the motherland and, and run with the folks from there, okay? It would be everything for me. So that's definitely a bucket list item for me. But yeah, I appreciate you guys hanging out with me for this whole little segment here. Uh, we're gonna shift gears because I'm about to go get in the tub <laughs> and tend to my family. And I will talk to you guys. Soon.
Good morning. It's the next day. Anne is upset because she can't have her waffles while laying on the couch. You have to eat waffles sitting in your chair at the table, okay? Um, anywho, it's morning time, breakfast time, whatever, and girl, Anne is on spring break this week. I I'm just finding out. <laughs> so we gotta find some stuff to get into this week. So I think even today we're probably going to maybe go and check out what Ikea has and then maybe go to the trampoline park, just some stuff, you know, go to the children's museum, something to keep her in academic mode, you know, kind of keep on track with what she would be doing if she was at school, kind of like the gymnastics stuff and the, everything else. So we're gonna try to get into some stuff this week. But Anywho, why am I in the laundry room, you ask? Well, girl, when I came down here, I happened to look over at my cabinets and I noticed that we had some silver hardware on them. These cabinets, y'all, we, me and my dad got these from like one of those like wholesale discount, you know, furniture places. So, um, you know, it looks really corny and, you know, builder gray or what have you. So I noticed that some of the extra um, hardware from the kitchen project actually fit the same dimensions back here. So I'm thinking about switching these out. Now here's the thing though, I only had like three or four extra of these and I really need six for in here. So I'm gonna have to order more in order to complete this thing. But I was just trying it out just to see if the five inch ones worked and they do. So I'm gonna go ahead and swap these out as well. These cabinets were really, really cheap. They were like $80 per cabinet unit. So discount furniture type stuff. So I was really happy about that. These have been working out really well over the years. We swapped out these cabinets when we first moved in this house and my dad kind of helped us do that. And it's been working out great. And I just think it would be really nice to swap it out, you know? So I'm gonna do that. And um, anyways, you guys, this morning, I'm feeling really good. I don't have any soreness. My knees ain't hurting, my legs ain't hurting, my, you know, I feel fine. I'm like, dang, at 41, huh? <laughs> y'all are so sick of me reminding y'all that I'm 41. I know, I know. But when I did the half marathon in 2022, the next morning, y'all, I couldn't even walk. Like I was hurting, right? And granted, that was more miles. This was like half of that, but I think it's progress. It really speaks to my workout regimen and the exercises that I do at the gym and my flexibility and my joint health and things like that. I feel like it's kind of showing the changes and the benefits of having an active lifestyle. So I'm really happy about that. And I wanted to share that piece with y'all. Like I'm not hurting this morning, you know, and I fully expect it to be hurting. So yeah, I'll make it these. And once I order the new ones and get all of this stuff replaced, I'll show you guys how it turns out, how it looks all together. Okay, finally gonna eat something. Okay, a couple pieces of Ezekiel bread in the toaster. I'm gonna do like a little smoked salmon spread type thing with some cucumber and egg. I just posted a um, reel on Instagram making fun of like you know how you can be like sore the next day after a run even though i'm not actually sore i feel great but i put that on there just for a little fun you know um everything can't be so serious you know uh what else do i need to get out of here well i thought i was getting some cucumber but and ate all of the cucumbers so i'm just gonna do a couple of tomatoes i'm just gonna cut these in half the long way and this is the salmon spread that i'm gonna be using this is so good y'all so, so good. And I just boiled me an egg. I'm gonna just slice that and put that on there. Girl, I forgot this egg was down here cooking. Anthony had to turn the stove off for me. I was upstairs, completely distracted. Mm. And I don't have any capers either, so this is gonna be kind of weak, but I gotta eat something. I'm gonna do this and then my AG1 greens powder and that'll be breakfast. You know, you have those days where you just like eat to live. Today is one of those days. Okay, on top of this, I'm just gonna put some salt, a little onion powder. Oh, and I need pepper. Kinda going for the oniony vibe, so let's just put a couple little dry chives on here as well. So if y'all don't know nothing else about me, know that I love tomatoes and I love onions. Okay, that's breakfast. I've been loving my greens powder, y'all, my AG1. I talked about this on my Instagram, but here's the thing. I have a link that you guys can use in order to try AG1 if you have been thinking about it. The link will actually give you guys five of those little individual packets for free with your first subscribe. And then you also get the drops, which let me show y'all. I would highly recommend you get the cup though with the lid because the lid is really heavy and it's like perfect for mixing up your greens powder in here. So 
definitely recommend getting the cup but i think to do to get the cup you have to like sign up for like the starter pack type of thing but i highly recommend it though just get the whole thing but yeah here's the drops that you can get it's the ag vitamin d3 and k2 they say you only need one drop of this a day i actually took this yesterday with my pre-workout when i was doing the run and it did me it did me well y'all i really did so um i really like this stuff let me show y'all the travel packs Keep them in the pantry okay so these are the travel packs a single serving and this is like perfect for like on the go you can just throw this in your gym bag you know mix it up on the go and then this is the regular big pack and I got the little canister that comes with it so I can just scoop it out of the canister it's so so cool y'all really good quality stuff that they send you and I love the greens powder I think it tastes so good and I love that it gives me energy and that it gives me all my vitamins for the day and I don't have to think about it you know it's an easy way to get everything you need so I keep the canister in the fridge because once you open it you should refrigerate it so I just put the whole canister in there but this is my canister see it's like really good quality tin type thing and then you get the scoop which is a heavy ass oh i don't know what this is made out of but it's like actually heavy and so i'm just going to put one scoop of my greens powder in here bam and then i'm gonna put one drop of my d3 and k2 boop okay i'm just gonna mix it with water and I was describing the taste to y'all a couple vlogs back, but for those of you who might not have seen those vlogs, it has a really subtle pineapple and vanilla taste. It's very earthy, so you can definitely taste the fact that it has, you know, the greens in there. It's very earthy, but y'all know me, I'll eat dirt. Like, I love the taste of, like, earthiness. All my wines are dry. I like mushrooms, you know, stuff like that. So, I like the earthy taste of it. I have like PTSD with shaking this thing. I've been wanting to make sure the lid is all the way on so I don't make a mess. But yeah, you just shake it up for a little bit and once everything is blended, you just start sipping away. And I just think this is perfect, honestly, to complement your breakfast, especially if you're trying to lose weight and you want to eat light. This is a great, great way to help you to feel full without like eating pancakes and french toast and all that stuff you know whenever i drink this i feel like i'm doing something really good for my body and i just don't have any of the guilt i just really truly be feeling like i'm doing everything i'm supposed to be doing you know especially for my age so got my breakfast got my greens powder i'm gonna go ahead and finish this off and ann went and got in the bed girl with her ipad and you know shut the blinds and everything and she's just using a little dark room she's in the guest room um, looking at her ipad chilling out but i'm getting ready to interrupt that because me and her are about to go outside you know we gotta get some fresh air and somebody's having their lunch that Dottie prepared their salsa girl saying hi and then there's me <laughs> i'm like shoot while ann is having her lunch let me just take these braids out right quick uh, i know y'all like girl you crazy i would have left those braids in <laughs> no not green not green anything but green these were just for the race and it was fun as you guys saw it only took less than two hours of my time so it wasn't too too bad plus my hair is so dirty y'all i really need to wash it and start over you know so i'm thinking <laughs> now might be the time to go ahead and get my um braiding hair and stuff together that i want to do for this time around and we're gonna be doing like you know some blondes and some light browns and that sort of thing i'm kind of feeling like that at least right now i am right when i get to the freaking beauty supply sometimes i'll be changing my mind right in the middle of the aisle like nope we're gonna go this route <laughs> um, we'll see how i feel when i go and shop for the hair but yeah it shouldn't take me more than 15 minutes to take these chunky braids out i only have like 20 of them to wipe this lens off so tired of this camera y'all like it did what it needed to do when it needed to do it but i cannot wait to buy my, my new one it's basically this camera just the updated model because it has more features and and it gives me an opportunity to really produce higher quality content for y'all like for example with this camera i can only record using the built-in microphone whereas if i get the upgraded version of this camera i'll be able to get an external microphone and then you guys can hear me better like when i'm vlogging on the go like when i'm like outside the wind's blowing y'all won't hear that stuff you'll just hear me and then like if i'm vlogging with another person and it's important that y'all hear the exchange i can wear a microphone and they can wear a microphone and you guys will just hear our audios of our voices versus everything else in the room like right now and is in the background having the best giggle fest if i had on a microphone you guys wouldn't even hear that but i know y'all y'all probably want to hear her giggling she has a cute little laugh but um yeah you know it'll just make the sound better and, and there's some other features um that i'm interested in as well but the mic part is the thing that i'm really focused on so i'm just waiting until i get a chance to actually sit down 
do the necessary re necessary research, order the, the proper accessories, mm -hmm. and just have everything, mm -hmm. you know, in one swoop. I'm just waiting until I have that moment because I don't want to, mm -hmm. you know, I want to just make sure I'm giving it the attention it needs. I don't want to just do mm -hmm. something, you know, I want it to be right. Mm -hmm. So I'm just waiting. So yeah, me and Ann are just gonna go to Ikea. I love Ikea, y'all, it's always such a treat. I like to just walk around and get inspiration. And sometimes I buy stuff, you know. I love the marketplace area of Ikea because I always get stuff for like the kitchen, just little things that you didn't think you needed, but you know, like little cutting boards, glasses, you know, stuff like that. And then, you know, y'all know I love Ikea's uh, cafeteria, so I always end up um, eating the food there because I really like it. I just, I don't know, I'm one of those people who really likes cafeteria food. I know that's surprising, y'all. Like, not you, Miss Foodie, liking some low quality cafeteria food, but yep, sure. it's something about it. I don't know, it's like nostalgia. It reminds me of like my high school days. It um, reminds me of, you know, when I went to boot camp when I was younger. It just, it just reminds me of that, like that good old mass-produced <laughs> cafeteria food. Won't you take me to Funky Town? Won't you take me to Funky Town? I think I heard you humming that, Ann. I think I heard you, Ann. All done. Braids out, and I am left with a braid out. Okay, real cute. And this is just dirty hair, extremely dirty. But what I'm gonna do is just put on a hat so you don't see all my like dirty hair. Who is calling me? Don't be on the dog, text me. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just gonna put on a hat, and then this is today's look. <laughs> okay, to the garbage we go. And I will clean my counter. Don't be telling me nothing about doing my hair in the kitchen. I'm clean my counter. I got full nine, okay? <laughs> and you singing to your mommy. Mare, 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 mare. Y'all, when I got home last night from the race, I went into the closet and Ann was in the mirror dancing, girl, with my um, medal on and then that little St. Patty's Day bow I had on my head. She was dancing in the mirror with that stuff on. I'm like, oh, Ann, you think it's a necklace, girl? I did see some kids in the race. Maybe one day Ann can join me in one of those races, maybe like a 5K or something. Uh. Something y'all forgot, because nobody mentioned it. I was surprised. Nobody asked me if I was gonna switch the knobs over here. <laughs> and um, I thought about it after I had ordered the replacements for the kitchen. I had thought about it, but I didn't do it because I wanted to finish the kitchen first, make sure I liked it. Then I was gonna order the ones for over here. So I'm gonna order those, and I am back having, you know, my little wine beverages and stuff. So I'm going to be restocking here, and I'm gonna kind of be revamping, you know, the vibe over here really soon. I just have to figure out exactly what I want to do for this surface space here. So far, all we've done is just put this stuff here. And Anthony doesn't even use this whiskey canister thing that I got him. Um, he uses the glasses all the time, but he doesn't put whiskey in here. And I would just really like him to because that would be so cute. But maybe this isn't the set for him, you know, if he's not going to use it. So I'm just going to, you know, rethink it. And is playing hide and seek um, with the apples. And I wanted to show y'all something my sister brought me back from Ireland. This is one of the gifts she got. It's, um, you know, like a wine stopper, wine cork thing. And it's so cool. So cool, and she also got um, Ava like this cute little onesie set. Y'all know I always talk about my ancestry percentages whenever I talk about a different country. So when it comes to Ireland, I am about 6% Irish, and that's from dad's side. But y'all know I'm mostly Nigerian. I'm about a third Nigerian. No, 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 no. Watch out, Sansa, it's not for you, hun. Ow, Sansa, ow. <laughs> She just stretched her legs and her, her claw caught my toe. Girl, as I recover, um, this is the, Anne is making fun of me. The Anne is making fun of me in real time. Girl, I'm out of here. Let me let, let me, let me limp on out of here. That's the one of the things they don't tell you about having a big dog. Thing number 792. They will, they will crush your toes. Any girl. Any girl. You can't take your. You can't take your. And. And don't care about nothing. Oh goodness. Oh, and then it's pouring down raining. Come on, Ann. Come on. Hush. Come on. Bend your foot. 
Bend your leg, not your foot. <laughs> push, push. Try again. One, two, three. Push. Ah. Okay, there we go. Good job pushing here. Put your foot in here. Yay. Come this way. So Anne came, came straight to the kitty toy section. We got a few things already in the bag. And we're just looking. I'm just seeing if they have anything Ava might like also. You know, Anne is just shopping, you know, taking her time, checking everything out. She has half the stuff in here already. Anne, Anne, let's look this way really quick. You think Ava might like this? You think Ava might like these? I'm trying to let her roam on her own while keeping her clothes. I think I'm gonna also get these little cars. Yeah, I'm about to get Anna a desk. This is perfect for her. Look how she's just sitting here. She really likes it. I'm thinking about a desk with one of these um, like little pegboard things. So then she can like store her headphones and whatever, whatever, right above the desk. So like right where they have this thing. That could work. And then as we get more into it and acquire more stuff, we can start getting other storage solutions also. But I really like this. Look how cute this is, this little gallery wall. I really love it. And look, there's a little bench attached. Anne really likes these lights in here. I'm thinking about switching out her light for something cool like this. You like it? She's having a great time with the kid bedroom section here. She really is. I'm just letting her tell me what she likes, taking mental notes and sending pictures to Anthony. <laughs> okay, time for a snack. Can you give me a fork? Can you get me a fork right here? Put it on the tray right here. Thank you. Okay, let's go this way. Okay, somebody's doing a hum fest over here. But I got her a salad, garlic bread, and some fish. We'll see if she eats it. I'm trying to get her on the internet here so she can stop humming so much. And then I got this, my favorite. I get this every time. And we just usually sit by the window away from everybody because people be staring at us and everything. Yeah, girl, it'd be a stair fest in here. People be like, what's wrong with that little girl? Hey, sweet girl, I got you online here. Hey, you wanna shop Ikea Spring Selections? <laughs> That's what they want you to do. Okay, here you go, sweet girl. Here you go, mommy. All right. Okay, we're leaving Ikea. That was so much fun. Y'all, this hair is holding up and all of the rain and humidity, it's holding up. I ain't too mad at it. It got crazy right at the end there though. Um, with Annie Boo waiting in line for our turn. She just took her shoes off, but I ain't mad at it, Ann. I ain't mad at it, we're heading home. <laughs> Don't take your socks off though, Ann. Leave your socks on. Yeah, because the lines were really long, moving slow, and Ann was getting so restless, and she started like doing what we like to call a little grocery store dive, where she just kind of, you know how kids like take off running and slide on the floor like a slip and slide? So that's what she does in stores when she's ready to go. So she started doing that, and I was like, Ann, please, God no, do not start the freaking grocery store dive. Because it's such a public spectacle, you know, and then everybody's looking, including their children. And you know, kids don't have no filter okay they be looking like mom what's wrong with this girl you know but there was a little girl who was in line in front of us here it's kind of loud let's turn it down a little bit there was this little girl in particular y'all who was in line in front of us um she was with her little brother the little girl had to be like maybe five she was so self-aware for a five-year-old in my opinion and she was so like empathetic towards Anne. like she was staring at Anne. don't get it twisted make no mistake she was definitely staring she just took her socks off <laughs> She was definitely staring y'all, but it was out of pure curiosity. You could tell her stare was not, it didn't have judgment behind it. And she seemed almost fascinated by Anne and the way Anne was like doing stuff. And then I heard the little girl start singing a song, which is a song that Anne used to be obsessed with singing. So I'm like, okay, they on the same wavelength a little bit. But yeah, she was definitely very aware of everything Anne was doing. Um, but like I said, it wasn't offensive though, right? And then we got ready to leave. Anne had, must have dropped one of her little toys or something. And the little girl, I heard her say, is this your toy? And then I looked over there and she had picked up the toy and she was giving it to Anne and I'm like see there are awesome wonderful people in this world who really be looking out for one another with nothing to gain you know just judgment free just out here just really giving a damn about the person next to them and I don't 
don't know. It just touched me because, like I said, we're used to just getting stared at. People, you know, asking their parents what's wrong with this little girl and stuff like that. I mean, I'm used to that. It happens all the time. I almost never say anything. I just ignore it and keep it moving. But I do notice it. I have no choice but to. I have to be aware of my surroundings so I can hear people's hands stuff. I can see things happening, you know. Because otherwise I'd be lying, being like, oh, I'd just be out in public blind and don't know what's going on around me. No. Situational awareness is a real thing. And I'm from Chicago. So, yeah, I definitely got that. <laughs> but, yeah, this little girl was just so sweet. And it really just restored my confidence in, like, you know people when they see us out and stuff you know you can just tell that little girl's parents are teaching her about neurodiversity like you could just tell and I know I do not be alone because we saw this other family and I'm just assuming I think they were a special needs family like I want to say that that little kid that was with them was neurodivergent at the very least right I don't know if he was on the spectrum but he was definitely different and that family did the same damn thing that I did honey they when we were in the cafeteria they grabbed their food and went so damn far from the crowd, you couldn't even imagine it. Um, they went and sat in the area where they have like fake living room stage, you know, for like they're trying to like sell the living room pieces. Girl, they sat over there. They sat in the fake stage living room. They got as far from the crowd as you can possibly get and I wanted to fist bump that lady. Like, that's exactly what I do. I just get out the way. Just to avoid being a spectacle, you know, you know your kid is gonna have some interesting behavior, some unique behavior. And so, if you ain't in the mood to be educating people on it and doing all that, you know, you just wanna stay to yourself. You just wanna be in your own world. Sometimes it's best to just get a little bit out the way. And it's no shade to anyone out there who can't relate, doesn't understand. Listen, nobody gets it like me, okay? But you don't always have like the energy and the mind, the state of mind to be teaching people all the time some days you just want to be and also not be stared at right you kind of just you want it all some days you know so yeah it was just it was it was very validating you know to see another family doing the same thing no and no jumping okay we're back home quick ikea haul <laughs> all right this is the second one i'm buying i feel like i had one of these before for her and she tore it up, so we gonna try it again. These ain't nothing but like, I don't know, what, $5 or something? And honestly, this is for ages six and up. So when she had it, it was, you know, she was too much too young for it. I think she was like three when we had this, and so she tore it up pretty good. But now she's older, and I think she'll actually play with it more functionally, so I have high hopes for it, okay? I went over by the glasses, you know, because I was kind of in my bar mode. So I did get some new um, red wine glasses, some nice stemware. Uh, I love Ikea stemware because it's just so affordable and you can just really get your feel for the types of glasses that you might want and then you can maybe get some more expensive ones once you figure that out. But it's good to just get started with Ikea stuff because it's so cheap. And y'all, the way people be breaking glasses over here, when we have like little get togethers and stuff, somebody always breaks a glass, okay? It's usually Mumu. I ain't gonna lie, Mumu done broke like, Mumu, between Mumu and Martina, they have broken so many glasses over here, okay? <laughs> um, it's, it's fine, because they're so cheap. So I got that one, and then I got this type of glass. This is something new, y'all. This is a cognac glass, I believe. I got these for Anthony. I think he's really gonna like it. Let me show you how it looks. This is new, though. I don't feel, I don't feel like I've seen these before in Ikea, or maybe I just missed it. But look at that. That is so cool, you know, you come over, you know, you, the guys, you know, you offer them some cognac, you can give them an actual cognac glass. You know, and you can probably put whiskey or whatever else in this scotch. I don't know what people be drinking, girl, I don't drink hard liquor. <laughs> but um, you want me to open this for you? Okay, give me a second, and let me, um, cause I have to mount it to the wall, so you gotta give me a second, okay? We'll probably put it, make, you know, in fact, let's put it over here, since there's already, already a mount up. Let me just pop this up for her real quick. I have one of those, like, 3M hooks already on this door where I had the, seasonal wreath. So I'm just gonna pop that up there and then she can just start throwing the darts at it. You know? Come on, sweet girl, over here. And then, y'all, I saw these cool little shoe racks that I think we might be able to put to use in our closet upstairs. Let me show y'all how this works. Oh my, oh my, oh She's already over it. Interested for two seconds and now on to the next thing. Anyway, you put this on a shelf. You can put one shoe on the top and then the other shoe underneath it just like that. So it saves room. So I don't know, we might be able to put Anthony's Yeezys on this if he doesn't need them to stay in the original shoe boxes. So I got a bunch more of like these under cabinet lights. They're battery operated so it's not the most efficient thing ever because you're gonna go through a bunch of batteries. The ones that I have up now have been running off those same batteries for like I don't know, months. I got Anna a new placemat for when she's eating, because the ones I have, they're okay, but 
this seems like it would be nicer. And then it's got like little animals on here and Anne loves animals. A lot of things for Ava cause she's really starting to explore and she's really interested in toys now. Like things that she can manipulate and play around with. So this thing right here is actually really perfect for where she is right now developmentally. This other Upsta product, this one is a little bit more um, involved, right? Because you have to use a tool in order to even play with this thing. So this is gonna require a lot more development, but I think getting something like this now will help to encourage that. I also got her these little magnetic vehicles, little like train set truck thing. They connect magnetically, so you can just pull all of them at the same time, but you can also play with them individually. And I feel like this would be perfect for when she's like sitting in her high chair. She can like play with them on the tabletop thing. And then last but not least, I got her this little stacking toy activity. It's very lightweight. It almost reminds you of like little cups and it just stacks up and it's colorful, not too heavy, perfect for her little six month um, muscle tone. These little cookies, little baby cookies. Yeah, I just thought it was cute because they were like little letters that'll help us have a little teaching moment. And then I got these cookies with raspberry filling. Y'all love stuff like this. I am a sucker for a little coffee treat you know like this and so I'm going to definitely put this over by my coffee nook and kind of serve these up with my morning coffee the final thing that I got y'all check this out tell me am I tweaking or what but I had saw these little hanging light fixtures right you know Ikea sells everything broken down so this is like the cover for it and then you buy the actual connector piece and then you buy the light bulb piece and like all that other stuff I just got the lampshade part because I was thinking about trying it out in my kitchen on my kitchen lights here I was going to connect it at the top and let it hang over the light and then that way I don't even have to change anything out I can just put this over the existing light so I was just gonna try it out and see I kept my receipt um, just in case this thing doesn't work out but I was gonna try it and then I was gonna show y'all how looks and then you guys can like help me and give me your feedback and stuff but it was just really standing out to me I don't know I just felt like this might look good in my kitchen I don't know I just really I just really felt it in my heart so I'm like let me try it so let me go ahead and put all this stuff away and then I will show you guys how it looks on the thing <laughs> oh yeah and I didn't get any of the desk stuff for Ann because I need to measure and check with Anthony on you know how he wants to go about introducing that kind of stuff so but it's, it's on my radar and it's definitely you know the next major thing I want to do as we transition Anne into big girl things you know yeah and then we'll still keep the little mats for like when Ava is coming along and sitting at the counter but I just think maybe Anne might need a bigger one also this can be a cool mat for like activities you know like when kids are like you know doing little crafts, it's nice for them to set up shop on something like this. This actually is textured, so that's I do like the texture part because it keeps stuff from sliding all around. You know, it can stay better. <laughs> Y'all, I got dad on the phone. Uh, he's helping me figure this thing out. I'm trying to get this, trying to get this up there, girl. Look, 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 look. But he explained it and it makes sense, so I'm gonna do it. All I had to do was send Dad these pictures, y'all, and he told me exactly what to do. So I'm up here messing with it. It's real easy, y'all. It's real simple. Um, it's just tedious, and you don't want to make a mistake, you know, mess up your wiring and stuff. So it's like the fact that I have to do this two more times is crazy. Um, but Ann is over there keeping me company, and y'all, I'm doing all this just to see how this is going to look. I don't even know if I'm going to like it, okay? Like, but the fact that I know how to do it now, I'm way more confident. Oh yeah, and the fact that I'm just casually standing on my my island. Um, yeah, <laughs> this is something that I've been needing to learn how to do though y'all because it's been really a thorn in my ass Not being able to like switch out light fixtures. Y'all know how I am. I be wanting to get stuff done I be wanting to just do it and I always get stuck at this, you know Because I'm like, I don't know how to mess with no wires. I don't know what I'm doing But dad just explained it to me just broke it all the way down So like I'm good. So like once I get these up and I don't like them I'm gonna take them down and I'm gonna go and get another um, light fixture situation and I'm gonna be able to install it myself I don't need no task rabbit. I don't need no electrician or anything. I can do this It's really really easy But I'm not gonna try to teach y'all how to do it because this ain't no a tutorial and y'all not about to be getting electrocuted and then blaming me <laughs> Um, so we not gonna do that, okay? My dad is like, send me a picture, you know? And he's gonna be coming over here to check on everything. It's just that I'm just doing this in the spur of the moment and he knows I'm not gonna wait for him to get here. Like he knows that. So he's like, I better just tell her how to do it because she's not gonna wait for me. She's gonna just wanna do it. So he helped me figure it out, but he'll be over here in the next 24 to 48 hours to check and make sure I did it correctly.
morning, you guys. It's several days later. Okay, we are actually headed out. I just got the girls ready. Oh my God, this just took like a good hour and a half, which ain't bad, it's not bad, but I got myself ready. Okay, got Ann ready and my little Ava over there, and we're about to go run some errands and things. I realized at the last minute that Anthony had a test this morning, and so plans changed, but I'm glad to be flexible enough to be able to just kind of go with the flow, so I'm gonna let Sansa back in. She's staring at me with the evil eye, and then we're gonna head out. So yeah, of course, this is how everything turned out. I wanted to also show y'all the night view so you can kind of see how these lights look at night, but what I didn't realize is that it has that, is that because of the material, that rattan or rattan or however you pronounce it, it leaves a shadow effect on the ceiling and on some of the cabinets, on some of the walls, and that's the whole point of this. Um, so, you know, that's not a bad thing. It might not work for me, but it's not a bad thing for every for everyone. It could be really cute. But I don't know, you guys. Of course, I kept my receipt, and you guys know how flexible Ikea is with returns, so I can always take these back, but I do wanna give you guys a chance to give me your feedback on this and what you think about how it is working in this space. I think it could work, but I also think that there are some other pendant lights that might work even better. So you guys, let me know know, right? And then in my next vlog, I'll let you guys know what direction I ended up choosing. Ava! Ava! Watch out, Sansa. Ava said, don't leave me over here. I'm sorry, mommy. I'm sorry. <laughs> She's like, don't let it happen again. <laughs> Thanks, Sansa, for letting me know. So yeah, I knew I had to get these up, though, in order to kind of really get a feel for them. I tried to envision them in the space, and it just was not working. So I really needed to see how it looked. Okay, we're back home. If that seemed quick, it's because it was. I ran one errand and I was like, I don't wanna do no more errands. <laughs> I'm like, I'm going back home. So I'm gonna wait until Anthony's test is over and then I'm gonna go back out and get done the rest of the stuff I wanted to get done, but I do not wanna take these two little children with me. It's a little too much. <laughs> and tried a quick little eloping stunt, okay? And I was like, nope, I ain't getting ready to do this. Not with a stroller. You know, bless her heart. But uh, yeah, I'm making some little shrimp for her lunch. Girl, I was just telling Anthony, like, I'm tired of the pans, the pots and pans that I have. It's time for a new set because this stuff is not non-sticking like it used to. Okay, so, yeah, I'm going to be on the hunt very soon. If you guys have any favorite non-stick pans, like a nice set that I could get, just let me know. Because I don't really want to be buying, like, no individual pieces. Like, oh, this is my favorite pot. This is my favorite frying pan. This is my favorite you know saucepan i want like one set one complete set so i can just be one and done <laughs> that's probably my problem but i just need it to be easy and <laughs> sit down <laughs> I just laid Ava down for her morning nap. Her schedule got thrown off again today. She is not having it. What am I having for breakfast, brunch, you ask? <laughs> some leftovers from last night, y'all. I made some, uh, what do you call this? Girl, beef short ribs, and I made some cheesy sort of mashed potatoes, like herby, truffle -y mashed potatoes to go with it. Y'all, I went to Pete's yesterday. Y'all know I freaking love Pete's, okay? And I saw that they had the thick cut short rib, and I'm like, I want to try this. So it was my first time pretty much cooking the short rib, and I didn't realize they take so long to cook, right? Three hours minimum. So this is definitely a slow cooker type of thing, and I'll know that for next time. But yeah, I really like beef short ribs, like, you know, it tastes like pot roast to me when it gets all tender and stuff. So yeah, I just made that last night. I'm looking forward to trying my Lavender Bliss drink. I got this from Pete's as well. It's Gold Thread Plant-Based Tonic. And y'all, this one has a Lavender Bliss to it. It calms nerves and reduces stress. What? Girl, let me find out that I need to understand where I can order this by the bulk. If it tastes good, that's just gonna seal the deal. So I'm gonna try this today. Y'all, not this tasting freaking amazing. I stopped drinking this like two minutes ago and I'm still experiencing it, okay? The floral notes have like found a home in my 
respiratory system. I'm just, I'm continuing to experience the lavender blossom. So this is the description, right? They say, drink more plants. This elegant elixir drenches the senses. They ain't lying. With the sweet floral breezes, bright dazzling colors, and easygoing vibes of Southern France. Five kinds of flowers, including linden, lavender, and saffron. Okay, I can, I, I can confirm. Attentively gathered at their peak of perfection. Will gently escort you into a new and improved dimension of chill. Love yourself, drink bliss. Okay, and it's vegan, gluten-free, only seven calories and zero added sugar. They had me at no added sugar, okay? This is really, really good, y'all. Um, it's manufactured out of White Plains, New York. Um, drinkgoldthread.com is the website, y'all. The first ingredient on here is water, and everything else after that is stuff I can pronounce and know exactly what it is. So they have won over a new customer in me. I'm definitely gonna see if I can get um, larger quantities of this because honestly, in Pete's, it was only like one or two of these left on the shelf. And that's also a good sign um, if people are buying them up. I need a case of this. So I'm gonna go on the website and see if I can order some. Good stuff, y'all. Okay, so my food is ready in the microwave. Let me grab that. This is my lunch. Let me show y'all, okay. Look at the mashed potatoes. They are so truffly and I put a little Parmesan cheese in them. And gave me a couple of her shrimp. <laughs> and this is my beef short rib, y'all. Cooked for three, a little bit over three hours yesterday. So, so good. Just really quick, pretty much just cooked this in a beef bouillon type of reduction. So it's very flavorful. I put in some carrots. There's also onion and minced garlic in this and also some red wine. Hey, you stop that. Hey, good morning. I actually don't know what day this is for y'all, but um, it's different from the last clip. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just back from the gym and uh, just tidying up around the house drinking my AG1 You know trying to see what's good in the social media world and everything I'm about to hop in the shower because like I said, I'm just back from the gym So I'm all dirty and stuff, but I got Anne squared away with her breakfast and everything Y'all know she's still on spring break So basically the entire family is downstairs in the family room hanging out I just left to come up here because I'm like I need to take a shower. I got stuff I need to do look at my hair, right? Oh, look at that. So I have this wig that I want to try, right? Um, and so I figured I'd do that before I do those braids, okay? And also, y'all, I went to the beauty supply yesterday to get the hair, and I think I need to go back and make an exchange because when I was looking at the hair in, like, natural lighting, I was like, huh, might not have matched this up correctly. So I'm gonna have to go back and finesse and see what I can see. But yeah, I did handle that situation yesterday, but I don't think I'm done. I think I need to go back and get a better color match. But that's an easy quick fix because that beauty supply always will do like a exchange for you with no problem as long as you haven't opened the hair and all of that stuff. So yeah, in the meantime, I think I'm gonna try this wig that I got. Let me show y'all. Where did I put it? No, really, where did I put it? Where did I put that wig? I know it's around here somewhere. Yeah, I went to the gym with this scarf on and I'll never be doing that. I usually just wear like um, headbands and stuff, but this time I was like, I'm gonna wear my scarf. Okay, I found it, it was down here. Okay, so here's the wig. <laughs> and let me go get my butt in the shower, okay? So here's how it comes. Very, very nice. Very nice, actually, like luxuriously packaged. So your wig will come in this nice plastic bag. And y'all, this is not sponsored. I'm not getting paid for this. I'm just sharing my wig with y'all, okay? <laughs> Full disclosure though, this was gifted to me. I didn't pay for it, um, but I would have though. Her Given Hair makes really good wigs. I had one from them before that lasted me for about four years, okay? So the wigs are really, really good and they look just like our hair, which I, I have to give a thumbs up to any company that's willing to create products that look like us for us versus selling us the European version of whatever. Y'all know what I'm talking about. So thank you for, for making hair that I can wear that's not mine, but looks like it could be. <laughs> um, so you get a nice um, satin, I guess, dust bag for your wig, which is amazing. The one I had from years ago didn't have a satin bag. You get the nice brochure with that beautiful lady on there, okay, with the Afro goals there. And then you get a like kind of user manual. And in here is a lot of step-by-step -step instructions on how to get the look so you're not just like on your own trying to figure it out. There's also YouTube videos that you could watch. And oh, I know this girl. <laughs> Um, she does their wigs so much justice, y'all make them look so, so good. So you can follow the steps and it'll kind of help you figure things out. So I will be taking a glance at this. Oh, I know her too. 
I just know everybody in here. <laughs> what a time to be alive when you can like open up a piece of marketing material, right? And you know like all the girls in the marketing material. I know this girl too. <laughs> Interesting, okay. So, and now I'm about to go get in the shower and then I'll show you how I style this thing. Alrighty, off the shower, feeling amazing. <laughs> Still spot treating my scars, my burn marks. I will be sharing the results with you guys soon. I'm just giving it a chance to do something, but I will be sharing some results because I am seeing some results. So I'll be sharing like products, regimen, all that stuff, but not until we see the results that we want. So here's the wig. I just wanted to show it to y'all in its entirety. Okay, there it is. I ain't gonna lie, it's looking a little wiggy right now just because it really needs some zhuzhing up, right? I need to really release these curls and kind of comb this thing out a little bit because you know what? When you don't see that frizz, it looks real fake. So we gotta create some frizz, we have to. So this is actually a half wig, y'all, and it comes with the combs and all that, the, draw, the drawstring at the bag, and it has some extra combs that came with it as well. So this is called the three-in-one half wig, and the length is 18 inches which is the equivalent to 170 grams. The texture is curly and it's uh, the curl type is 3B, 3C. Because here's the thing y'all, this is going to give me that uh, sort of wash and go look, which you guys know I don't do anymore because I don't like dealing with wet hair. It's just icky to me now. No shade to people who are still able to do it. I'm jealous of you, but um, the sensory part of it gets to me these days. So I'm not able to deal with my hair while it's wet um, in terms of like styling. So this is gonna help me to achieve that look without having to deal with the sensory processing issues I'm having with the dampness of my hair. The color is natural color. Basically, the front of my hair will be left out to some degree in order to just blend it back. And then the rest of it will be uh, this sort of wig. Just at first glance, it looks like it's going to be hot to wear this, but we're gonna see. So what I'm gonna do is just um, try the wig on for size, see about how much of my real hair I need to leave out. I'm hoping my hair is not too brown for this. That'd be the other thing. Yeah, sometimes these wigs be a little too dark in certain lighting, but let's see. So I'm just gonna try it on. First, let me take my hair clip out. Okay, girl, look at my hair. It's all limp. <laughs> you guys hear Ava in the back. She's hanging out in the bed with Dottie. So yeah, I'm just seeing like how much of my hair I'm gonna need to leave out. And it's looking like probably a good, you know, two or three inches. So, so let's see. This is also a great style for like, you know, like a last minute emergency style. You know, you just wanna throw something on right quick. Somebody sprung up some last minute plans on you and you just wanna be cute. You could have an emergency wig like this. That's what I like about these textured wigs. Parts ain't gotta be straight and all that, you know. And then for the back of my hair, let's just do some quick uh, cornrows going straight back. Honestly, let's just rehearse really quick here. <laughs> so I'm gonna dig those combs into the top of my part right there. There's combs on the sides here, dig those in. Girl, tuck these braids underneath. And then there's one more set of combs right underneath. And then I can pull and tighten this drawstring thing. All right, that makes a big difference. And then once you pull the string, you just go ahead and tuck it for those of you who might be new to wig wearing, that drawstring is gonna put some tension around the perimeter, which helps it to stay in place and gives you that confidence so you can just kinda, you know what I'm saying? With the wig and <laughs> not worry about it coming off. So already y'all, it's looking a little bit better since I have it on and secured, but the telltale is gonna be the blending, all right? How well is this thing going to blend with my real freaking hair? So I'm about to do some finessing right quick. So here's the thing. All right, here's the thing. Because I don't really be styling my hair while wet, I don't really have nothing. Um, I don't even know what to do here, but we got a few things. We're just gonna try it, okay? I'm definitely gonna use a leave-in. This is the Cantu leave-in. This is my go-to, this is my holy grail. 
My hair loves this stuff, so I'm definitely gonna reach for this just to make it nice and soft. This is truly a leave-in conditioner. I know sometimes products claim that, and it's really something that you almost wanna just rinse out, but no, this is actually a styler for me. If I twist my hair with this, it's gonna look amazing. So I'm definitely gonna try to use this. Also, Mio has this nourishing whipping cream, which might give me a little bit of shine, a little bit more definition. We will see. Not really sure, but uh, when it comes down to it, I know I can always reach for this styling foam, right? This is an IC product, okay? I got long ago from my local beauty supply, so I'm gonna use this as well for some staying power, I'm hoping. So let's just see. I'm gonna tackle the hair in sections, so I'm just gonna start down here and then work my way over like a rainbow. Okay, we are ready. You know, hey, listen, if this thing doesn't work out to our liking, this is a wig that can be easily finessed, I'm thinking. So I'm not gonna worry too much about it. You guys just kinda watch me figure this thing out. I'm gonna go in layering, so I'm gonna start with my leave-in just to make sure my hair is nice and soft. So I'm just gonna use about that much, maybe quarter size. Get it on there really well, focus on those edges. All this stuff has to be smooth and slick. Once that's on there, my hair is so dirty, you can just like see it, but it'll, it'll dry down better. Once that's on there, I'm going to actually just skip the Mayo product for now, and I'm gonna just go straight for my mousse product, just to see, okay, just to see. And mix it in with the wig, I don't even know the difference. Okay, and I'm just gonna get it on there and saturate it really well, and then I have to give it a chance to dry. So I'm not gonna focus on smoothing down the edges too, too much, because I'm gonna use a different edge product for that anyway. I'm just gonna get it on there. Some of it is getting in the wig, which I think is fine. I think it's fine, the wig needs some product probably anyway. Uh, there's a little bit of shedding from the wig, as you can see here, nothing too crazy, but there is some hair leaving the wig. Next section here. Bit of can too. I'm gonna use a little less can too this time. Whoops, forgot to put the water. <laughs> a little bit of mousse. Won't do that much this time. So two pumps. I'm just finger combing using a brush. Might help to get some defined curls depending on your hair texture. Just scrunching it in there. As y'all can see, it's a pretty good blend with my hair texture versus the wig's texture. It's a pretty, pretty good blend, not too, too bad. Okay, now that my hair has products on all of it, I'm just gonna go in now and just kind of try and finesse this wig a little bit. I'm gonna brush it out, separate these curls, get a little bit of a frizzy look going, and then we're going to address the front. I still haven't decided if I'm gonna just leave the hair out, if I'm gonna pull it back, slick it down. I'm still not sure yet, but I think with this wig, you know, you can make that choice as you're, you know, figuring out what's your comfort zone and everything. So that's kind of where I'm at in real time here. So you guys will kind of see me making that decision as we go along. But so far, I think the wig is very soft, very realistic looking. I think it's fun and I do like the texture. At first, I was a little nervous about it because the curls looked a little zigzaggy and a little bit tight and my hair is not like that. And so I was like, I wonder if I'll be able to, you know, blend in. Usually I am able to blend in regardless, but I have to leave out less of my real hair in those instances. So I was a little bit skeptical at first, but the more I'm, you know, touching it and playing with it, I can see that the curls actually, um, are quite curly, so this might actually work. So as you guys can see, this wig is almost doubled in size, which I think is what you want. And then at this point, you can choose to go in with some product with the wig if you want. You know, add a little mousse, add a little leave-in. I am definitely going to add a little mousse just to see what happens, okay. to see what happens. I like it, I like it. I think we need to add mousse. I think I see, I think I see, I think I see a vision here. The hair is super soft, y'all. You could almost probably do a twist out with this hair. Honestly, it's really soft. I thought it was gonna be like super tangly. Nope, my fingers are running right through this. All right, now let me figure out what I want to do with this front part. So here's the thing, I have a couple options, right? Looks like my part just defaulted to right there. I'm gonna use a soft bristle brush. I can always brush my hair down and get it mostly out the way on both sides. But that is something that you could also do, just put like a nice headband right on top, you know? Another way we could do this, y'all, for some of you who, have, who may have shorter hair, you could kind of play it off like you have a bang. So I don't think my hair is short enough for that, but let me just show y'all an example, so I'm gonna try to get rid of that part. Because this wig is so good, 
you know, you can you can just do half your hair forward and then the wig going backwards. You won't really be able to see that, that line. So if I wanted to go the bang route, I could just bring my hair in the front like that. It doesn't look that great, y'all, because I didn't go into it uh, intending to do a bang, but do you guys get the point? And then I can still, if I want, put a headband in the middle just to give myself that extra protection. And I can do something like that just as an example, okay? <laughs> and you'll be like, I don't like that, that's that. not cute. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and then one more, if I wanted to do like a half up, half down. This one's a little bit more tricky. You, you gotta kinda gotta have to have a little bit of skill, but I'm gonna try to separate the front of my hair with some of the front of this wig, right? Brush the sides. Oh. Put your hair tie on it, and then you would just shape it how you want to shape it. And then you know you do your baby hair and all of that. And this is kind of what the half up, half down would give you. So now I've shown you guys a couple different options with this wig. Okay. Now I'm going to decide which one should I do, and then I'm going to show you guys the finished results. Okay. Okay, y'all. This is the finished look. I got all this makeup because I'm filming a short form you know, transformation of this wig. So I had to put on the whole little get up and everything to make it fun. And also a drastic flip from the before. So yeah, this is how it, it came out. And as you can see, I decided to go with the bang option, but there were plenty to choose from. This was just more fitting for me. This was just giving me everything it needed to give. And I haven't worn a bang in a long time. So pretty much just rolled my hair underneath, kind of the technique that you guys saw me sort of doing, and it worked. Once my hair got dry, which right now is 100% completely dry, um, everything just kind of became more full, and I was able to get that bang effect pretty nicely. So a couple takeaways about this wig, right? In conclusion, I would definitely say you need this wig, okay? If you like to have the option of wearing big hair, whether it's for vacation, particular event but for those reasons I think you should have it just in your arsenal so you can just reach for it when you need to I do think it's very versatile the way that they promote it and advertise it on the website they're not lying it's definitely versatile I showed you guys a few different options just right here but I was even thinking of some other stuff that you could potentially do with this wig so it definitely has tons of options does it look realistic I don't know y'all tell me it has movement right so I like that about it it definitely resembles that of real hair so you don't have to worry about it in that sense let me show y'all the back I just love that it's not super stiff you know it moves like real hair it moves like it has weight okay and the blending was just effortless y'all like I didn't do much of anything honestly like I was feeling like a deadbeat uh, hair tutorial for a moment there because I feel like I wasn't really doing anything but you really don't have to this hair just kind of shows up clocks in and does its job okay cons about this hair right you do have to finesse the wig quite a bit you can't just pull it out the pack and put it right on you have to finesse it in some areas I found that some of the curls were a little too uniform especially the ones around where they hits the shoulder which are the most important areas so you might want to take like a brush and just like really brush it out and even grab yourself a pair of scissors and kind of like make it a little bit more uneven because real hair is not uniform in no way I don't even care if you just got a haircut it's just not gonna look that uniform hair is going to be varied so you have to create some variation the color matching is actually pretty good as far as it all looking you know pretty dull because y'all know real hair is dull it doesn't like just look shiny you have to do stuff to it so in that sense it blends in well but I will say that the wig was a touch browner than my hair which I'll never be experiencing that um, but yeah it was a touch more brown it's not a big difference but I can tell because I know oh and then another thing this is not a con but it's just a tip I would say um, as you're leaving your hair out in the front make sure that if you do the bang technique or if you do um, the you know middle part or side part make sure that the hair that is surrounding your face is your hair I think that's going to make all the difference in terms of really being able to pull this off as like your hair and I know a lot of people don't necessarily need to do that some people are like it's a wig I don't care if people know it's a wig I know but you want to wear it well you want it to look good I don't care if you're walking through the party telling everybody it's a wig you still don't want it to look like a wig trust me okay so make sure that the hair that is framing the face is yours because that's gonna help it blend better and then just make sure that you you know you do the proper separation and you tease it and you play with it to make it all look the same and I think you'll love it y'all I really like it it's super cute 
This is definitely something I will be wearing. Y'all gonna see this again, okay? <laughs> the biggest things about it is how easy this is. You don't need any wig installation experience. All you need to do is exactly what I just showed you. Y'all know I'm not even a wig person. So if I'm telling you it's easy, believe me, it's easy. I ain't messing around with no glue, no sprays, no this or that. You don't need any of that for this wig. So I appreciate you guys watching the video all the way through, watching me play with my wig in the mirror and all that. I appreciate y'all, okay? So there's definitely something in it for you. If you want this wig, which I think you need to have it, I think you need to think about it, okay? Uh, you can get $30 off with my discount code INVISIBLE, okay? So just put that in when you make your purchase and you're gonna get $30 off. And this wig is gonna last you for like the rest of your life. <laughs> I had, but my last one lasted me like I said, at least four years. You're definitely gonna get your money's worth. So I'm gonna put a link below for you guys to go and shop their wigs, but this is the one you want right here, okay? So put in my code INVISIBLE, get $30 off, thank me later. <laughs> Everybody's having a great time over here. And say hi. Say hi. <laughs> Sweet girl. <laughs> Shaka Khan. <laughs> we just got back from running some errands. I had to take that hair back to the beauty supply and everything. And I thought at the last minute, I'm like, we need to get our Easter outfits ready. What the heck was I thinking? So this is Easter weekend too, right? So that's coming up on Sunday. And so we didn't have anything. And then I thought about it, like, why don't we do something special, you know, in the house? So I decided let's just do a little after church brunch thing, you know? And so uh, I went to Target and found some cute little dresses for us. And I went to the Dollar Tree and found all of this. Y'all, let me show y'all everything we got because it's insane. Hair, the wind has just taken my hair for a wild ride, but it's still hanging in there. That's the thing about the curly look, right? It don't have to be perfect or anything. Okay, y'all, this is a huge Dollar Tree haul. Like when I tell you, I found so much stuff. I don't even know if I'll be able to fit all of this in. So I'll just show you guys what I'm most excited about. Why don't I do that? So I am really, really excited about this plate set that they had. It's perfect for um, spring and Easter. Look at that. So these plates, girl, these ceramic plates, can y'all see? It also came with these little salad plates that say home sweet home. But y'all, the real kicker, right? The real kicker are these chargers that they had. Let me show y'all the chargers. Girl, look, completely clear, right? It's kind of acrylic, plastic or whatever. With the gold trim, y'all, this is going to be so pretty. Putting that on there like that on the table, that's gonna be so pretty. So I'm really excited about um, those items. Everything else was pretty much like the fake florals, right? I got bundles of fake florals. I'm probably gonna do like one arrangement. I got, you know, little things like this to stuff in there, little Easter baskets. I'm gonna go ahead and make Easter baskets. Here's the thing, y'all. Anne doesn't care or even understand Easter baskets. Um, and then Ava is, of course, not even seven months yet, so both baskets are kind of like, eh, I could make them, I could not make them. But I decided to go ahead and throw something together just because Anne was able to pick out the candy that she wanted for her Easter basket. So this is some kind of like knockoff Laffy Taffy and then some cotton candy. Here's a little activity that we can do day of. It's just like, like a kind of Mr. Potato Head type of activity with the foam pieces. And then I got some flour, which is just some kind of glitter mushy stuff that Ann can play with. And then for decor around the house, you know, we got these little woven baskets. I'm talking about a dollar, so it's like, you know, they had these cute little trees. Cute, cute, cute little trees. I got some gift wrap type of stuff just to decorate the baskets. Girl, we have some Easter egg garland, which is so, so cute. I could put that somewhere. More of these little trees. They had a bunch of these, y'all. So cute. I'm like, I'm saving this stuff for like next year and stuff. We have these little motorized um, hopping toys. I went ahead and got one for Ava and one for Ann because I know Ava is gonna wanna play with it and Ann's gonna be like, you ain't playing with my stuff. So I'll just get one of each. We got some little bubbles. Lots of this grass just to tuck into the bottom of the baskets. This cute little guy, probably will use him to decorate around the house. Can y'all see? There we go, the lighting is so terrible. Easter egg picks, these are pink with glitter. The lighting is just terrible because I'm standing directly under the light, so that's why it's doing that. Um, more of the trees, I got a few of these. They have like little Easter egg ornaments on them. So, so cute, lots of glitter. So it's gonna be a mess. More Easter eggs to put in the baskets and also just like around on the countertop. And then I got both girls um, some ears. Matches with their little outfits because we're all wearing pink. Got more grass just to decorate. You know, this is gonna be like a brunch spread, so I just wanna decorate around the food. Y'all know how I am. More of the egg uh, picks to put wherever. And these are the actual baskets that I am going to be preparing. Just something real simple, y'all. And they did have lots of Easter basket options. 
This was just the one most nostalgic because when we were little, our baskets looked like this with that kind of uh, wicker or rattan material, whatever that is. Um, but they had like plastic ones, they had big ones, they had a lot of options. So we're gonna do a little Easter egg hunt. And then as you can see, they have the golden egg in there. So I thought this was a fun little set to have as well. And then I think that's everything I got from the Dollar Tree, okay? I spent only like $60 for all of this. Now, Target had a cute little $3 and below section happening. So I was able to get this cute uh, Easter bunny. It looks like a giant like, you know, gummy bear or whatever. I just thought it would be cute to like decorate the countertop with it. For our outfits, right? They didn't have any like specific mommy and me stuff. Let me turn y'all around because the lighting is just driving me insane. It's not showing anything in its true color. Yeah, this this angle is better. Okay, sheesh, Luis. Okay, so I got this cute little pink dress for me. Oh, like I was saying, they didn't have any mommy and me stuff. So I just decided to pick out me a dress and then just find dupes in their sizes, right? So this is just a real basic feminine cute little dress it has a small split right here on the side and um, the back is exposed a little bit so you do have like that little cut out I thought this was really nice and cute nice spring number I'm just gonna be hanging around the house cooking and serving food so it might as well be comfy and then I went ahead and got Anne this cute pink little checker outfit is the same vibe as my dress hers is just checker which is going to match perfectly with her bunny ears Okay, so that's why we did that. And then for Ava, we looked up and found um, the same family of pink, and hers actually has a little Easter bunny right here in the middle. So this is a Carter's outfit, and then we're just gonna all be in our pink coordinates, okay? And then hopefully Anthony can wear like a pink tie or something. Also at Target, I got a couple of bundles of some pink and white tulips. So I'm gonna put those in some water real quick. Oh, they also had these really cute little woven um, carrots, which I thought would be so much fun to put by the giant um, bunny. And then y'all, I found this book cover and it just says uh, Flowers Botanical Collection. Y'all, why am I about to put this over here by my coffee nook and put that black book inside of here? How cute is that? And it says 1980, which that was a really awesome decade, the 80s, right? Okay, so I'm gonna put all this stuff away and tend to Ava. And here's the thing, y'all, I gotta get up out of here, okay? This vlog is too long, but I know y'all love the long vlogs. But let me just end it here. I've been just yapping and yapping for an hour, okay? So let me get up out of here. I am gonna see y'all in the next vlog where I will show you all how all of the Dollar Tree decorations turned out with the whole brunch and everything. And what else do I have to share in the next vlog? So yeah, I'll check y'all next Sunday um, with some more fun family content. And I love you guys. Thanks for hanging out with me. Oh my gosh. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.